Hey guys, I got some good news. So I wanted to explain something and there's been some confusion about production and how my music's gonna spread. This is why I made the changes. I want Mike Studd and Atlantic Records to unprogram Mike and to unprogram my fans to what I'm about to say. You're going to complain because I was initially something and I changed my name to Isaiah Curtis Pilkington from a metadata standpoint. But it's my decision to change my title or name on DistroKid or from DistroKid. They changed it from IP, or I did, from IP to Isaiah Curtis Pilkington. Now, why would I do that? Because I didn't want you guys to hear the wrong information. And I'm gonna explain what I mean by this. In history, IP is a signature, that's my initial. So, like art, you have your insignia, you have your initial. So my work or my production has my insignia on it. That's my legal signature saying this is my property. When I change it, right, oh, and to clarify that, so it's IP, so why would I call IP? Because it's an IP production, right? So when you're like, where did IP production? Your initial is legally IP, and that's an IP production. So when you go to my page, on Facebook, it says IP Productions. That's just your identity, a production by IP. So when I change it to Isaiah Curt, oh, and to be specific, IP Production or IP has I an IP Production online. They're going to say, who made this though? It's going to say Isaiah Curtis Pilkington, the legal name and owner of the, um, the production is Isaiah Curse Pilkington. Now, people weren't slow and I wasn't hearing, the, I heard the wrong information about business, Mike. I heard the wrong information about net worth and patience, right? You're not, don't complain when this tree doesn't grow, doesn't grow in a day. That's the only thing I was saying, like, this is more like a church. You know how fast, think of this like, like church, but like, there's a practical amount of time for something like to manifest or to something to spread. Re reality of like, it, Avatar, Marvel, right? The phases and all this stuff. So, uh, long story short, Legal, my legal name is Isaiah Curtis Pilkington. When you change your name to Isaiah Curtis Pilkington, it pops up on Google, and you're gonna see everything that was produced by Isaiah Curtis Pilkington. So that's an easy way for you guys to receive my production. How is that important to narration? They keep saying the past and present in Naples and there are so many snakes in the city. And I hope that you guys will fix it and tell them. There wasn't any secret agenda to me putting it out there. It was so that you guys would be saying the wrong and right information. When it says Isaiah Curtis Pilkington, think of that like Marvel. Some people are worried about whether or not you were the one to make it. They're worried about that. They care a lot about that. But here's the thing, when you see Marvel, it doesn't matter how many people were involved with Marvel, right? It doesn't matter how many people are involved in it, you know it's a Marvel production. You know it's Marvel Entertainment, you know it came from Marvel Studio. So that's the only self-aware, that's like the only, um, that's the self-awareness I wanted so that people wouldn't be saying the wrong information. Another way of saying, just straight up, it wouldn't make a difference um, to what you called something because the person still gets credit in the credits. But for the sake of saying something is like something, you would never, uh, to a stranger, a stranger would always be like, it's like Marvel because I see this is the, the owner, like the guy that, like, they'll be, what's his legal name? Isaac, okay, so he's the one that owned it because I can see that's his name. That's the only reason why I was doing that and like I said before, I'm not changing it back um, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference what you call it, but I just wanted you guys to know that this was like something colossal. Like it was just, it's just like Marvel to a stranger when it's on Google Organized. Hopefully that makes sense. But hopefully they'll unscramble this if you don't understand that. Um, again, one more time, and this to over clarify, there's a lot of snakes that keep saying something's the past and the present. That's not why I did that. And I want them to stop, stop worrying about that narrative because that's, we're in entertainment.
right? Does it matter if the casino is the past or the present? Does it matter if the arcade is the past or the present? It doesn't. Does it matter if a game's the past or refurbished or a console comes out or it's a new console? It doesn't make a difference. So this reality, it's not past, present, or future. It's just, it's just someone owns the property of this or the rights to something. And that would be the person's named after.